What is going on everybody? How's everybody doing today? So we have a little bit to talk about as we now know who's going to be competing in the 2020 NBA Finals. So it's going to be the Miami Heat versus the LA Lakers, the Celtics lost in six, and the Nuggets lost in five. I do plan on doing a Celtics rebuild, and I still have to do a couple other teams. But today, we are going to be rebuilding the team that kind of shocked a lot of people in these playoffs. And it's going to be the Denver Nuggets. So a lot of people, like me, expected the Nuggets to win in round one, beating the Jazz but losing in round two to the LA Clippers. But boy, we were wrong. I had the Clippers over the Nuggets in five. They were up three to one, but they blew a three to one lead. Jamal Murray kind of came into his own, is now kind of proving that he could be a star in the league. He was always somebody who would have like in the d range and like the Deer and Fox and the Spencer Dinwiddie, but now he's maybe above those guys after the playoff run he had. And obviously, Nicole Jokic. This man might be the most entertaining player to watch in the NBA because every shot he takes, you're like, no way that's even going anywhere close to the rim. And he's just wet on everything. I, I don't get it. But yeah, we are going to be rebuilding the Nuggets today and trying to make them a powerhouse in the NBA because I think they could do so, but I think they need to capitalize on Michael Porter Jr. and trade him. So we're going to keep Mike Malone for now. Ryan Keefe, uh, we will keep, you know what? He'll give me at least two training camps. We'll pick up Trent Peterson to be our assistant and we get him. But yeah, I think that they should look at potential Drew Holiday, Victor Oladipo, Bradley Beal trades this offseason because there are some shooting guards that will be in the market now. I'm not saying you have to give up Michael Porter Jr. for all those guys, but maybe think about it. I might go after Bradley Beal in this video. Maybe we'll try to target Victor Oladipo, who will be a free agent though, unfortunately, because 2K is obviously messed up. And hey, finally, we can download draft classes on pc a lot of people were saying there was like a new playoff record you start in the playoffs i haven't found that yet wow there's a lot of injuries with people's eyes what is is everyone getting blind oh wow i accidentally started the draft okay uh so do i want to make a trade right now i mean gary harris is now up to 20 mil is he an expiring deal in 2k standard just he is okay so gary harris and the 22nd pick in the draft I doubt I'm getting all for Drew Holiday. <laughs> I don't think that's the case here in this game. Drew Holiday probably is a player option. So we do have the 22nd pick. So I will be making my selection. I don't know if I will be trading that said player though. And I actually like who fell to me at 22. As you can see, LaMelo went one. There is a report that he actually might go number one in real life because the Timberwolves are kind of scared of Anthony Edwards' work ethic and it reminds them a lot of Dion Waiters. So I don't know if that's actually true. Edwards goes two, top and three to the Hornets. Okay, it's not Patrick Williams anymore. Let's go. Killian four, Wiseman falls all the way to five, and the Knicks got Denny of the high eight. But the player I got at 22 is Tyrese Maxey. I think this would be a great pick for Denver if he falls to 22, adding another Kentucky player to that team along with Jamal Murray. We are going to be picking up the option on Michael Porter Jr. 2K. I don't know why it would auto set to decline, whatever. So obviously Denver is not like a crazy big free agency destination because the biggest free agent that Denver has gotten in the last five, seven years has been Paul Millsap. So I'm not saying like a star is going to join them. We are going to be offering the qualifying offers to Tory Craig, Kata Bates, Diop, and Bol Bol. I'm excited to use Bol Bol uh, because you guys know how good he is in 2K. So looking at potential trades, now we can maybe, I was going to say, oh, go after Drew Holiday or uh, Oladipo and maybe not have to give up Michael Porter Jr. Like we could definitely do that. Uh, Oladipo will be a free agent. So we can look at Drew Holiday and see what it would cost to get him, Jamal Murray, no. Uh, and Michael Porter Jr., I'd prefer not to trade Michael Porter Jr. unless it's for Bradley Beal. So I would do Gary Harris. I would also do hmm, PJ Dozier and a future first. No way this goes through. Okay. <laughs> All right, Trench and Langdon. I'm surprised he wanted to do that. Okay. So we get you out who was a five option. If he's not good for us, that's fine. He'll be a free agent next year. We don't have to bring him back. I know he's not great in 2K, so I will be messing with his tendencies. But wow, that's kind of a huge pickup for what we gave up. Yeah, our first next year, but that's kind of it. So we do have a couple free agents though, like Paul Millsap, who I'm going to bring back on a one-year deal. Uh, Jeremy Grant, I would like to bring back on a three-year deal. Bring him back for a couple years. He only wants about seven mil a year. Torrey Craig is restricted. Monty Morris, I do like as a backup point guard. We will give him a three-year deal. It could always trade him if it doesn't work out. And Mason Plumley will be uh, coming back probably as well to be our... Actually, no, I don't need Mason Plumley because we are going to be bringing back Bull Bull. So we will read that's the rights on Pomey, Troy Daniels, Tower Cook. And at the moment, we got back Millsap, Grant, and Monty Morris. So after Moratorium winds up here, I do want to see if we can maybe get an extension done with Mr. Bull and see if we can walk him up for a couple years. So Bull Bull... Unfortunately, we really can't sign him because we don't have bird rights on him. So we're going over the cap, which 
is no bueno, is no bueno. So let's hope a team doesn't offer him a deal. AD is going to go back to the Lakers, it looks like. I wonder what team he signed with to begin with. Uh, De'Aaron Fox is now unrestricted. Anyone? Okay. Maybe AD is not going to go to the Lakers because they have Giannis. If they can get Giannis, AD, and LeBron, I'm giving up because we're also in the Western Conference. Kawhi George, the Grizzlies. Paul George to the Hornets. And Kyle Lowry to the Cavs. And Anthony Davis stayed with the Lakers. If LeBron didn't retire, I'm actually going to lose my mind because... <laughs> That is absurd. That is absurd. Oh my god. They have only four players under contract. Their first round pick in Trenton Watford. And then, you know, just three of the top six players in the NBA. And Giannis LeBron and Anthony Davis. Whatever. Do we have a middle exception? We kind of do, but I don't really think we need it because we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the bubble will be ten. Maybe we'll send Tyrese Maxi to the G League. And we're finishing up free agency here, and it's looking like we are going to get Bobo back on the qualifying offer. Sweet. So Bobo is actually an 81 overall. Porter Jr. we have right now. He will be your free agent next year, but then we could always trade him if we want to do a sign of trade. Drew Holiday did regress, but I basically gave up Gary Harris and a late first for him. So I'm not crying over if I don't bring him back next year because we really didn't give up a lot for him. And we do have two training camps, so I do want to send Jamal Murray to perimeter defense. And then I also want to send, hmm, I don't think we're going to go with the Bobo. Bowl, Jokic frontcourt. We could try that out next year, but I'm also going to send Nikola Jokic, uh, or no, we'll send Drew Holiday to perimeter shooting. Oh boy, he's just not very good in 2K, which kind of sucks because he's really good in real life. So I messed with the Holiday's tendencies a little bit, so I'm hoping that he's pretty solid for us this year. If he can average like 16 points on solid efficiency, I will take it. I'm actually going to send Tyrese Maxey to the G League, at least for the start of the season. All right, guys, so here is the rotation for our first season of the video. We got Jamal Murray, Drew Holiday, Michael Porter Jr., Jeremy Grant, and Nicole Jokic. Technically, everybody has a J in their first or last name. Technically, really not because it's Junior, and that's obviously not the start of his last name. Uh, but either way, and then because you have Jeremy, Jamal, Drew, Jokic. Uh, we have Bobo, Will Barton, Paul Millsap, and Monte Morris. Assistant proficiency, three and a half star is under pace in space. We will stick with that. And our preseason power ranking with Drew Holiday in this new Nuggets team is number five in NBA.com. Let's see if we can maybe make it to the Western Conference Finals again this year. So we went 47 and 35, which is all right. I was hoping to get maybe into the 50 win total. Giannis is your MVP for the Lakers, and I'm sure they could have had two other players up there as well. I wonder if AD and LeBron are up here. Oh, wow, they're not even in the top. Okay, so LeBron was the 22nd highest score, and then there's AD, but that's just absurd, that big three. Uh, Lamel Rookie of the Year for the T-Wolves. Bowl Bowl, sixth man of the year. I don't know why the sixth man of the year Kia sign goes over the sixth man of the year thing, but uh, you do you, NBA interface Giannis is your defensive player of the year Mo Bamba most improved and Jack Vaughn of the Brooklyn Nets is your coach of the year so I do want to see this Lakers team they were the three seed this is a better big three than maybe Bosch Wade um and LeBron so they have DSJ as their starting point guard they have Tyler Bay who they took in the second round all right they still have Kuzma Daniel House that's still not a horrible team um like around them like these are good pieces and then obviously they have Giannis LeBron and Anthony Davis but we are the five seed taking on the Pelicans in round one the Gary Harris true holiday revenge seed. Series. I guess they didn't bring back Lonzo Ball as they have Goran Dragic as their point guard, Gary Harris, then they have Zion and Ingram, two Duke guys there, Aneka Kungu, Jackson Hayes, Lou Will, Alex Wynn, Fernando, and Frank Nielakina. Uh, they did take Okungu with 13. Here were the stats, Jamal Murray, led us in scoring with 23 points, 6 in Ephesus, 46, 39, 89 splits. Dude was a stud assist tonight as well. Jokic about 19 points, 11 and a half rebounds, 6 in Ephesus, 51 from the field, 40 from 3, and 84 from the line. Bull Bull had 17 and 9 as our 6 man and shot 42 from 3, 86 on the line 2k he is so op so op michael porter jr had about 15 points in half rebound shot 41 from three which is great he will be possibly a trade candidate in the offseason. He will be restricted for Asia, but maybe it's not a trade. Who knows? Uh, but maybe we have our scoring guys in these three. Drew Holiday, about 13 points, three rebounds, five and a half assists, one and a half steals. Good stuff there. I mean, 13, I would like it to be around 15, but his efficiency wasn't all that good. Uh, Jeremy Grant, 10 points, three rebounds, 43 from downtown, 70 from the line. Hell yeah. Will Barton had about eight points, three rebounds, 35 from three. Millsap, seven points, 42 from three, four rebounds. He probably won't be back. And then there's Monty Morris, who might be a trade on draft night candidate because maybe as our backup guard, we could just have Tyrese Maxey next year. Can I see his G League numbers? I can, unfortunately. But round one against the Pelicans, I think we can beat them and we well, that is a gold take exposed um, as we lose in seven. That is unfortunate. How did game seven go? We ended up losing by 16 anyway. Damn. Murray, how do you play in these seven games? Oh my God, he was phenomenal. 
He was amazing. Ah, oh, Jokic was Jokic as well. I'm sure Bull Bull was pretty good. Yeah, damn. How'd we lose? I mean, I guess everybody else wasn't that good. Oh, Michael Porter Jr. was kind of non-existent for us. I mean, he was kind of efficient. He just, I guess, needs to shoot more. I don't know. Bull Bull's taking more shots than him, which is kind of funny. As the Grizzlies with Kawhi and John Triple J win the finals. Kawhi is your finals MVP. They swept the Nets as the... <laughs> That's how OP Luka is. He takes on... Uh, LeBron, AD, and Giannis, and they beat them in five. All right, so let's go to the lottery as... Oh, wait, we don't even have our first round pick in this draft, unfortunately. We did trade that to the Pelicans last year, so it's pick 23. So that's mainly the asset we lost for Drew Holiday. Um, so I'm basically... I don't think I'm going to bring back Drew. Anything I could do is sign and trade. But let's go here to the draft. For Maxi's now an 80. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I mean, like, if we package... I mean, yeah, there's really not much we can do. I would love to go after OG and Obi. Uh, he's in Chicago, but he's making a lot of money for some reason. Uh, Fred Van Vliet was all right. Yeah, he wasn't super efficient in New York. Chris Paul got a new deal and I'd get a first round pick, but I don't need a point guard. I could get pick eight, but I'm sure I have to take on the Draymond contract. I mean, if we could do this trade, I kind of like Jeremy Kerr, but I think like I, to be a bench player, because I think Bull Bull is going to be our starting power forward next year. And I don't really need Monty Morris. Can I do this trade without taking on Draymond? Now it's looking like I have to take on Draymond, which means I'm probably not going to do it. So we're going to be trading Monte Morris to the Brooklyn Nets for their 2023 unprotected first and their 2024 first. Yeah, I'll definitely take two first for Monte Morris, who's our backup point guard. We're just going to give his minutes to Tyrese Maxey next year. So we have no team player options. KD opts out. So does Kyrie. Qualifying offers, we will give it to Bobo Porter Jr. Um, and that's about it. I hope now we have burn rights on Bobo so we can bring him back. And of course we don't. Okay, so I don't know how that's going to go. Drew Holiday wants 16 mil. You know what? Uh, or about 14 here. I don't think I'm going to give it to him. I mean, I'm going to advance a day here. We are going to renounce the rights on Will. Losing Will Barden is going to hurt as well. Uh, but we're going to renounce it on Will Barden. We're going to renounce it on Vlatko. Not Drew, but Kata Bates, the hub. I didn't even know we had Rondo and Garrett Temple. But yeah, we're going to keep it open for Drew, Bull Bull, and obviously Michael Porter Jr. How do the Lakers have money to offer Porter Jr. 25 mil a year? Did they... I'm like, unless LeBron retired, he must have retired, right? Because I don't know where they're getting... Yeah, LeBron did retire, unfortunately. Okay, I feel like I don't normally see him retire this early, or at least in year two, but he did. Okay, so we're after moratorium, and here are the two guys. I mean, Drew Holiday now wants a little bit more... I don't know. I don't know. Porter Jr., we're just going to match whatever he gets and looks uh, like the Knicks want to offer him something. I mean, if we go to Bull Bull here, can we offer him something? Oh, we actually have cap space enough to offer Bull Bull a contract. Okay. Wow, that's like 25 million a year, but screw it. Let me get Bull Bull under a contract and we'll give Porter Jr. a deal just to make sure that we don't get schemed out here. Oh, and he still takes the Knicks off for crap. Um, well, I have to match that. Oh, does this mean now I'm not going to have cash space to sign Bull Bull? I hope not. So let's give Michael Porter Jr. We're going to obviously match that contract. And now let's see. Drew Holiday, you know what? I'm, I might just bring him back just so I can maybe trade him. Uh, but Bull Bull has a, still a three-year deal from us. He doesn't accept it. Is he ever going to accept it? Okay, he does. But we can't sign him on that. So that sucks. I can only offer him about 10 mil a year and he's not accepting that. So now we're just banking on him accepting our qualifying offer. So I'm going to give Drew Holiday this deal. It's about 13 mil for three years. But I think I might do a sign and trade. So let's see. Do we get Drew Holiday? Come on, Drew. Just sign with us. There we go. So Oladipo is still on the Pacers. And I mean, he's not great. But I would really prefer an upgrade um, over Drew Holiday. So we would acquire 5 mil more than allowed. Well, I really don't have anybody else to throw in unless it's Jeremy Grant. So would they do Drew Holiday and Jeremy Grant? Oh, I don't want to give up Jeremy, but we might have to for Victor Oladipo. Uh, no, they don't do that. They, oh, count. This is why 2K is so dumb still. Why would you counter offer with me giving up a second round pick four years from now and you giving me your first next year? Yeah, I'm going to do that. But 2K, come on. Okay, but we now technically don't have a power forward or at least a backup one. I forgot it will be Bull Bull next year. So we will look to bring back Will Barton just because we can afford him. So let's give him a two-year deal. Bull Bull takes a deal from the Celtics. Can we match that? Please tell me we can. Yes, we can. I don't know why I can go over the cap to match it, but it's a one-year deal. I don't care. We're going to move into a power forward. He's an 85. He's going to be a cheat code. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'm guessing whom... Wait, I thought I offered a contract for somebody. Oh, no. We, don't, we still have to get two more players. Crap. All right, I'm going to offer... Oh, my God. Who do I really want here? None of these guys really are that enticing. I'll give Nicole Melli a one-year deal, and let's hope he takes that. Oh, my God. Okay, if he... Hopefully, he takes that. And I guess I'll sign... Can I also get George Hill on a one-year deal? Can I sign both them, please? No. So, who did it give me? Because uh, it was the last day. It gave me George Hill. So, we are lacking a power forward. Trey Young is... 
What? What is going on there? Why is Trey Young still there? Can we get Miles Leonard? Okay, Miles Leonard will be playing like 10 minutes a night. So here's the team. I like it a lot still. I think Oladipo is a massive upgrade over Drew Holiday in 2K. Leonard and Barden will be, I mean, the bench isn't as good. Maxi will be the sixth man in his rookie year. All right, so we're going to have three training camps now. Okay, so I'm going to send, I think, Victor Oladipo to perimeter shooting. I'm going to send Bol Bol to big man defense i probably should maybe do perimeter defense because he's going to be guarding some stretch fours uh but i will also send i think i'm gonna do no we'll send tyrese maxi to untap potential yeah let's do that all right guys so here's the rotation jamal murray victor oladipo michael porter jr bull bull and Nikola Jokic with the bench of Tyrese Maxey, George Hill, Will Barden, and Myers Leonard. System proficiency is now four star pace in space. We'll rock that, Mike Malone. And then we are coming in at number seven on NBA.com's preseason power rankings. I hope we can get a playoff series victory this year because we lost in seven matches to the Pels. This team could definitely make the conference finals. All right, so we get three more wins this year as we go 50 and 32. Luka is your MVP, just putting up absurd stat lines. IDB is your rookie of the year. Romelo Ball, six man of the year. Uh, yeah, the six man of the year thing is messed up. Nice, nice uh, visual visuals. 2K, Anthony Davis is your defensive player of the year. Garland, most improved. Like to see him succeed in 2K. That's cool. And Alvin Gentry, coach of the year of the Pelicans. So Pelicans are the one seed. We are the two seed. You got Giannis and AD over here. And then we got Kawhi and Jal over here. Great. This is going to be so tough. Oh my God. We check out the stats though. Jokic led the team in scoring. Okay, we had five guys. Our whole starting five was above 15 points, which is pretty nice to see. Jokic averaged kind of close to a triple double. He was uh, 1.9 assists away from that, but he was incredible this year. Bull Bull averaged 21 and almost 12. Jamal was a little bit worse this year, it looks like, but his efficiency went up. So I'm guessing it's just shots and volume went down. There's Michael Porter Jr. who was really efficient. And then Victor Oladipo, who was also all right efficient. So our top four, if we look at their true shooting, uh, Jokic 62%, great, Ma or okay, Bull Bull had a 58%, Murray 63 and Porter Jr. 66 when the average, I'm pretty sure is like 57%, so pretty good stuff by us. Tyrese Maxey also had 14.8 points tonight, which you love to see that, 38 from three, and then the rest of the bench, oh, just not very good at all. But we should be fine for round one. I don't know, this are the reigning champions. We do end up winning in five in game one, okay, so, or by five, not in five. Uh, the top four there, killed it, Porter Jr. played well, Maxey, you know, they were efficient, so I don't care, just get me the series victory, we are up 2-0, let's go, we won by two, okay, we won by five, and then by two, so two very close games to start it off, game three here, we have a chance to go up 3-0, and we can, let's go, we win by two, oh my god, all these games are so close, five, two, and two, that sucks, they have lost three games by nine points, all right, I don't care. I don't care. I'm just glad we're on the other end of that, and we end up sweeping them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We ended up winning by 17 here, so we knock off the reigning NBA champions in round one. Bobo Bo is just a cheat code in this game. Now, we're going to take on Giannis and AD. So it's Aaron Holiday, Josh Christopher, TJ Warren, who's an 87. Okay, he wasn't anything crazy in round one, but he had a good season. Giannis, AD, Kuzma, uh, Alfred Payton, Trenton Watford, Patrick McCaw, and Corey Joseph. Let's just see how game one goes because simulating current round is just way too quick. So we lost in game one. Okay, we ended up losing by 20 points. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna just abuse us, uh, Giannis and AD. As so, okay, it's one to one. Oh wow, we ended up winning by 31 here. Porter Jr. dropped 41. Murray at 26. You know what? I will take that. Uh, game three, can we go up two to one? We cannot. They end up beating us by seven. Giannis and uh, AD are just absurd together. All right, huge game four here. We can't fall down three games to one. Oh, damn, we lost by two. Oh, okay, well, this is just great. And okay, we forced a game six. That's what I'm talking about. We only lost by three here. Giannis just puts up 40, 11, 9, 2, and 5 with one turnover. Okay, that's just insane. But a great first quarter here in game six. Don't blow this, please. Don't blow this. As we end up winning by 12 and we force a game seven. All right, we're alive. We are alive. Game seven here in Denver. Come on, in the mile high. We have a solid first half. It could be a lot, a lot worse. We could be getting blown out. We're tied with two minutes to go. Left in the third quarter. Up by two. Up by two again. Up by six. Up by ten. 
Oh my god, we win. They blow a 3-1 to one lead. That just seems like a recurring theme in the NBA nowadays. And we are going to the conference finals. We beat Kawhi and Ja and AD and Giannis in back-to-back -back rounds. So now we're taking on the 5-seeded Thunder who beat the Mavericks. And then the 8-seeded Jazz beat the Pelicans in 7. Okay, so the Thunder got Chris Paul, Shea, Jaden McDaniels out of Washington. Who's actually having a pretty good playoffs. He's actually having a great playoffs. Look at that efficiency there. Uh, Darius Basie, Drummond, Harold Mobley. I think we're better. That's a fun team. That is a very fun team. And they got Kyra Lewis and Lou Dort and Matthew Hurt. That's a fun team, but I think we should be able to beat them as we win game one. I would say this is a Jeremy Grant revenge series, but we don't have them anymore. But hey, we're up 1-0. Can we go up 2-0? Yes, yes, we can. All right, we end up winning by two here. Uh, let's just go up 3-0 so I don't have to stress out of my mind. Okay, 2-1. to one. We only won by five. Or I mean, we lost by five. That was very uh, dumb to say. So game four. Yes, we're up 3-1. to one. Okay, okay. Let me just close my eyes. I'm going to press similarly around. Please tell me they, we didn't blow a 3-1 to one lead. Okay, we won in six. Let's go. We are going to the NBA Finals to take on the Hawks, who... Do they have Trey Young? They don't even have Trey Young. This team, oh my god, that is probably the worst team we have faced so far. Who signed Trey Young? So Trey Young signed with the Hornets, and they also have Paul George. Why did the I've never seen the Hawks not bring him back, so that's just kind of crazy there. All right, so this is a series that we should probably win. Game one. All right, we won by seven. That's what I'm talking about. Game two, let's hop into this. Let's see. I will, I think, hop into any close ones here. As we are up by eight going into the fourth, we're up by nine, up by 10, and we are going to be winning by nine points. All right, we're up 2 0. Is Kendrick Nunn is their leading scorer in the NBA Finals? I don't think that's built um, a recipe for success. As, oh, wow. They, they are by far the worst team we have faced in these finals. And, oh my God, Jokic! What? Guys, look at this stat line. 41 points, 14, oh my god, no, he was one free throw away from having a perfect, zero to, oh my god, he was one free throw away from having the most perfect stat line ever, 41, 14, 11, 2 and 2, zero turnovers, 16 for 16, 1 for 1 for 3, but he was 8 for 9 from the line, damn, he was a plus 47, what a stat line that was by Jokic. As we are going here for the sweep, and this series wasn't even close. This series wasn't even close whatsoever. Like, that Grizzlies team, way better than this. The Lakers team, way better than this. And even the Thunder team was a lot better than this. I mean, like, unless, I don't even know who their top scorer is. It's probably Collins or it's uh, Spencer Dinwiddie. But either way, like, I would get, like, Trey Young on this team. But this team beat... Um, okay, Tyrus Maxi missed that layup, but this team beat the Nets. I don't know if they brought back Katie and Kyrie, but if they did, then like, come on. Even that Charlotte team with Paul George and uh, Trey Young, I would say is even better this team as Tyrus Maxi cannot hit a single layup. Michael Porter Jr. had 20 to nine. If we lost, I was gonna get the third shooting guard I mentioned in this video because I was like, okay, we'll go after Drew Holiday. That doesn't work, we'll go after Oladipo. And if that didn't work, we would go after Bradley Beal. But hey, we ended up winning with Oladipo. Oh, I forgot we have Bull Bull. I wanna use him as, I think this is Johnson Porter. That's kind of cool. Johnson Porter gets that dunk to go going up against his brother, uh, Michael. So let's kick that to Bull Bull. Don't be a turnover. Uh, I don't even know. We could just do a post move fade away. Bull Bull, that's probably gonna go in. No, he misses that. Uh, out to Oladipo. Oladipo, no, no, don't shoot that. That was not gonna go in. Kick that to Porter Jr. Down low to Bull Bull. And Bull Bull is just probably gonna get that to go. And one with Bull Bull. He's too good. Can Bull Bull complete the three point play? Yes, he can. He's got 17 and 10. I wonder who finals MVP is gonna be. I actually, no, it's gonna be Jokic. Oh, I gotta get Jokic to triple double. He's got 29, 13, and 9. Okay, so the next possession, we gotta get Jokic a uh, assist so we can complete the triple double. DeAndre Hunter for three. That is no good. Jokic gets his 14th rebound. Okay, actually, no. Jokic, you need the ball. Don't be a backcourt, Jokic. Kick that to Porter Jr. Mm, I don't wanna take a three. I kind of. Oh, kick that to Bull Bull. I hate my life. Okay, we got 12 seconds to get Jokic uh, his triple double. I. Guess I could just call a screen. Um, Porter Jr., roll. Can somebody roll? Kick that to Oladipo. Oladipo, get that to go. Oh, no, he gets blocked. Jokic. Uh, crap, crap. Kick that to Bobo. Bobo, please hit this. Can we get the triple double? Yes, we can with 0.5 seconds left. Jokic gets the triple double. And we are sweeping the Atlanta Hawks. And we win. I think this would be the 2023 NBA Finals. Let's go. 
And there we go. We see the boys celebrating the finals. I believe now everybody got their first ring. I don't think anybody is repeating it. I would like to have gotten like Paul Mills have a ring. That would have been cool. Uh, but he ended up, um, I, well, we didn't bring him back. So I guess that was on me. But I'm guessing Nikola Jokic is your finals MVP. Yeah, in those four games in 37 minutes, he had 33 points, almost three offensive rebounds, almost 12 rebounds, in the half assist, shot 75% from the field and 64 from three like what but either way that is gonna be for me i hope you guys enjoyed this nuggets rebuild let me know in the comments which team you want to see next i haven't done some teams like yeah we could do the celtics we've done the what rockets we have done the thunder we have done the clippers i've done the bucks as well i mean we could maybe take control of the pacers we could do the magic oh Maybe the 76ers. They would be kind of fun. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Drop a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.